Aloha, everyone. Welcome to Season 7, Episode 4. I'm going to get the entire season done in this video. It will be recorded in several parts, unless this particular recording session goes well, as I have work in about an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, right, we're just going to load up the game, and I'm going to talk some absolute bollocks while I'm doing that. Uh, the Toy Show was on yesterday. If you don't know, the Toy Show is an Irish thing that comes on at the end of November. I need to put my controller on charge. And yeah, I was watching that. That was pretty cool. Went on very late. Usually it doesn't go on uh, that late, or at least I don't think it does. Anyway, yeah, let's let's plug this controller in. No, we're gonna get an error message now from the game. Yep, yeah, there we go. All right, we're very unorganized here. Uh, when when are we not? When are we not unorganized? Warning, changing teams. Yeah, that's fine. I'm literally just setting the fucking controller. Got a nice cup of tea here. And a jam sandwich for breakfast, because, you know, that's how college students do it. And yes, that was lag. I don't know what the fuck that was about. It's very cold, and that might have something to do with that. I don't know, let's try win this game, because we win our opening game of the Champions League. That puts us in a nice position to potentially win it again and go undefeated next year. Rubio's made a really nice turn, finished that. Oh, oh, Ayala with a great assist. Uh, McAllister done good to get the ball to the pitch. He did lose it, but... Because of him and then Phillips winning the back for him, we got this goal. I hope that makes sense. And I'm going to take a sup of my tea as we watch the replay. Okay, that was more like a gulp than a sub. But look, oh, that was such a good turn. Uh, how is our man the match looking for it? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, this isn't a new season. No, it feels like a new season. It feels like it's the start of season 8. I know it's not, but it feels like it. I wonder why. Maybe because we've won everything. Uh, season 8, by the way, is just going to be me trying to go... Uh, invincible and obviously win the euros once i win the euros this series will probably end go on rubio ah oh, ref ah oh, you got in the way oh shit they just made a turn oh how have they not scored that Tammy abraham should have absolutely buried that i thought it was one all all right look we're not out of the woods yet but we're, we're very close to getting past it um yeah, just a, just a bit more precision with our shots and obviously our passes. But it's McAllister, he's fine. He's only 68 rated. Very good at dribbling. He really is. Leahy's also somewhat decent. He just, he just runs weird. All right, here's McAllister. I see Rubio. We're just going to hit that up to him. Oh, that was a terrible decision for me. Phillips, I want to get that to coil. Oh, nice ball. Such a nice ball. Phillips, hit that. Oh. Oh, we've got a penalty here. You, you know, you'd love to see that. I think it was handball. Uh, I don't know who won it, so I'm just going to give it to Rubio because he's already scored a goal. I wasn't really sure. It might have been Phillips, but I'm not too sure. Hit that. Nice. That's the first rebound goal we scored from a penalty in this career mode. You'd like to see that. Now, I just got a message. Back to Baptist. All right, let's get going. Rubio's on a brace. He should get a 10 unless Odomosu wants to wants to take a, a third or fourth, fourth man match off him. No, I think, I think it's a... No, yeah, I think he's taking three off him. Hmm. I know, we'll see. Oh, Rubio has absolutely busted our balls there. Get through. Hit that, 3-0. Sim, yes, we're simming this. Rubio, hat-trick hero. He should get man the match. you love to see games like that. Rubio, 10, yes. Oh, you love to see it. I wouldn't mind Rubio being captain. Obviously, I, I like... Uh, I like Ayala being captain, but Odomosu too, I really want the captain to be. But well, my own rules set so that I can't do that. <laughs> I know, I might make a rule for the next career mode that I do, maybe for FIFA 23, where I say that it has to be an Irish player that's captain. I, I might set that rule, because, you know, it's supposed to be an Irish career mode, and it's not really. And we draw here, 8.4 from Ryan. He was a standout performer from everyone else. This man the match this year is actually very, very close this season. Now, I think Ryan is in the lead by about 15 points, taking a rough guess. These aren't calculated, by the way. I haven't calculated these. But it's actually getting quite interesting. Ireland want me to renew my job. I will. I'm only here for the Euros. EA Sports Cup. We're playing our first team again. The next game we play, we'll be playing with the second team. We lose. Oh, my. McAllister gets a 6.1. I don't think he's gotten a man match yet. Well, shit. Alright, the second team is going out. We are playing Mitchell at the Champions League next, so that's why I'm playing the second team. Let's have a look here. Yes, we win. Okay. 
Adiemo with an 8.4. Oh, yeah, it's the second team. Okay, where's Adiemo? There he is. That's the second man of the match of the season. All right, our first team is playing against Michelin. Uh, there's no need to show the group yet, as we've only played one game. I might show it after this game if if we don't win. If we win, we're going to be top of the group anyway. Let's give this a shot. Let's let's see what we're what we're looking at here. Can Rubio recreate his magic from last game? Uh, yeah. Although I do think Ayala's going to get man the match on this one. Oh, Ryan potentially going through. Ah, that was a that was a poor ball. Good attempt, but poor ball. And Ayala has a header. Nice. Didn't go in, but you know we. Might as well keep up some form of intensity on their back line. All right, here's Rubio. See Ryan there. Ah, oh, I want to get Ryan to pass to Ayala. We got a perfect tangent there from play. We just couldn't keep on to that. Now, we might be in trouble here. Yeah, there's four of them going into the box. And that pass back might have just saved us. Oh, shit. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it didn't. Oh, no. Oh, good save. Odomosu. Jesus, who knows if that was going in or not. Oh, shit. What a great pass that was. Oh, great save. Oh, that was a good ball from Michelin. They are putting up more of a fight than Everton are. Or did. Oh, that's a good ball for Ryan. Oh, I see. Oh, Ayala. Take a touch. Score. Oh, off the post. No. Oh, I thought that was in. Oh, what? that was brilliant play. Everything there was perfect. Except for the actual finish. And I wouldn't mind, I thought it was in. I was running off to celebrate. I was going to run into my kitchen. There, Jesus. Oh, hold on, we might want this back here. No, not might, if we have. Now we just need to get it into the box. Daniel wants to go into the box. Alistair, I'm looking at you. Ah, oh, just didn't move for me. We might be in trouble here, guys. Uh, Mitchell and I are coming up with a lot of, um, a lot of good stuff. Oh, I thought that was in. Oh, that would have been some strike. They nearly scored two really decent goals here. Well, really decent. Really good goals, sorry. They're coming up with the, the right move, the right passes, the right counters to my team. Now, the Ayala Rubio route is the only way I think I'm uh, done reason I think I was going to score here. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Oh, shit. I meant to take a touch. Damn it. I completely just button mashed there. Whoops. All right. We're in a lot of trouble here. Uh, Asensio, Ramos' regen, has gone walkies. My cats are scrapping. Ooh. Yeah, my cats are having a little fight in my room, so I might have to stop playing for a sec to sort them out. Here she is. Hello. Get cat gamers, the mascot. Yeah, yeah, you can you can get off the screen, that's fine. Collins to Ayala. Okay. Oh, I see coil. No! You took too long to pass, man. Fuck. What an arsehole. You know, one thing I don't understand about FIFA, right? Is how we can go from absolutely bending everything over after 33 minutes being 3 0 up. Yeah, against Michelin, who are arguably the weakest team in the competition. I'm drawing nil all at half time. I know it's at home for the first game, and I'm waiting for this one, but surely that shouldn't really matter. Like, my team is better than theirs. Even with 68 rated McAllister on the left wing, we're still better. He's probably one of their highest rated players. Oh, probably that's an over exaggeration probably like a, a mid-tier player for them oh that's a nice ball now so there's no one in the box so he's gonna have to come up with some movie magic here hit that ayala oh yeah i don't think that was going in fuck okay now we seem to have this i think this might end up being a draw i really do because we're not playing well at all like they seem to counter everything that we're doing and i don't really think that it's bullshit i think like there's certain times when ea are are complete full of shite and it's clearly match fixing but here it's i think they're actually just better i think michelin are better than everton and i was not expecting that oh shit yeah they're they're i think they're gonna score uh this is not what i want for my for my little champions league campaign that i want to go on oh, i just want to qualify out of the group for the knockout stages that's the plan oh oh hit that first time why did you hit that Ayala. Hello. Hello, hello. Why did you head that? Why? Okay. Alright, well, that's... I don't think he's getting man the match. He hasn't been very good this season. He really hasn't. He's fell off a cliff. Alright, they're, they're getting through our back line here. Like, they they really are. Caused me a lot of trouble. Yeah, that was coming. I knew they were going to score. Alright, Leahy's on... 
instead of Collins. We don't have anyone on the bench. We're in trouble. The formations also changed. We're in a lot of trouble. I could tell that they were going to score. Uh, do they deserve it? Yeah. I think they do. They've been very good. They've been better than Everton. That's that's the main thing. I've come in with this mindset that I was just going to beat them 7-0 in 5 minutes. Uh, yeah, so that's that was the terrible mindset to take. And they're absolutely destroying me here. Obviously, we're going to be under a lot more pressure now due to the, due to the change formation and going a bit more attacking. But throughout the entire game, I just haven't been that good. I've been very poor with my assessment of the game. My tactics, really. All right, Leahy has a chance to save my blushes. Hit that. No, why did he pass? I said shoot, and he tapped. He passes it. Now... I know the way I was talking earlier, like literally like 30 seconds ago, how it wasn't match fixing. In that scenario, he passed it rather than shooting. Now, it wasn't going to go in. It's late. He doesn't really score. Well, come on. Come on, guys. I might have a case there. It didn't even look like a shot. It was too weak to be a shot. You want to score a second? No? Grand. I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while. Ayala is off. Or Doyle and Foley is coming on for McAllister. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we don't, we just don't have a bench. We don't have the bench. And I can't really bring Lewandowski back from loan because I'm only supposed to have three players. I already got rid of my wage budget so I could have, um, so I could keep Lewandowski on the books, technically. Oh, no, for, um, Ramos' regen. Oh, hello. 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 Oh, oh, that looked like such a good ball. Oh, that's so disappointing. Can I switch to Doyle, please? No. Never mind, didn't need to. Okay, so Leahy's just after... Le I went to shoot with Leahy and he just leaves the ball. I mm, oh, I, I don't like him. I really don't like him. I might actually sell him. Alright, here they are. 2 nil. No. Alright, well that game's done. Alright, you squad monthly report. Ah, oh, our left back's shit. Our right back still has some form of potential. And the center midges will never be used. Too low rated. And this is the final report of the season. I was going to say the career mode. No, it's just the season. What have we got for me? Absolutely nothing. Okay, well, that was a disappointing end. Alright, full team. We're going out against some dock. I need to check the league table, actually. We should probably do it after this. 4-1 uh, win. We should be safe. 9.4 from Ryan. Is there anyone else? No. That might be enough for Ryan to win there this season. And that means that he can be captain. Nice. All right, here's the table. We're five points clear, but Sligo Rovers have a game in hand, so we could be two points clear going into the last six games of the season. We're playing the second team against Bowes because we have a Champions League game coming up. A Champions League game that we need to win after losing to Michelin. And we lose it. We went 1-0 down after a minute. I think Ayala seems to... I don't know why Ayala is on. But he seems to got... Man, the match there, so that's a 6.7. Jesus, he only has 16.7 for his overall this season. And the fact that he had 163.6 for season 6, and in season 7, he's gone 16.7. The fall off of Ayala has been stark, and we still managed to win the Champions League, even without our star players actually doing anything. Although, towards the end of the season, uh, we have started picking up. I find that incredible. All right, I'm going to show the Champions League table due to that loss that we suffered to Mitchelland. Yeah, head to head, we're 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 losing to Michelin. We're, we're in the Europa League as it stands. Uh, a win against Florentino will put us right back on track to to qualifying out of the group, and this is the team that's going to do it. And if they don't, I'm not going to be happy. In fact, let's check up on Lewandowski's regen. I want to see how he's doing. Where are you at? He's only 81. He's only gone up once. Have I got anyone else on loan? I don't. Okay, no, I do actually, but they're not important. They're not high rated. Okay, let's uh let's get into this game. Okay, gamers, let's try win this game. If I don't win this game, I'm in a lot. I mean, a lot of trouble. If I do win this game, then we're in good position to qualify. And if I we draw, we're still in a bad position. Uh, okay, so my mic was fucking muted. Uh, you missed gold. Uh, yeah, you've, you've missed two goals for me. Uh. They've been counter-attacking goals. They, they haven't really been deserved. I, I have to be honest with you. Uh, somehow, Florentina have not scored. I've said that wrong. They somehow haven't scored. But I'm not going to be too concerned considering the fact that we were absolutely shocking against Michelin. 
that was arguably the chance that we should have been scoring. The other two were just standard attacks. That was probably our best bit of play all game. And I, I have to make sure I'm checking stream last night to make sure I'm actually, you know, recording my voice. Are you actually recording? Yes, you are. Okay. All right. Well, let's try score free kick. Let's do that. Oh, Phillips has been absolutely destroyed by one of their players. And we've lost our defense midfielder. All right, we're going to have to change our formation here. I don't really know what, what formation we're going to play. I don't really want to put on Heaney. I think in Leahy and then we'll go with like a 4-4-2 maybe. 4 triple two, perhaps with Leahy up top. I'm thinking this, but I, I don't know. Because we... The Collins is happy to play center back. So is Castelli. Mullen. Okay, Mullen wants to play defense midfield. That's fine by me. Okay, right. This is what we're going to go with. Uh, hopefully, we haven't lost Phillips for a while. Now, thankfully, we don't need him for Ireland at the moment because there's no competitive games. I'm just on about for my broader team. I kind of need him. He's a crucial linchpin of my midfield. He is the fancy word pivot. All right, well, it's half time. Uh, yeah, this is epic. I was not expecting my boy to get injured. I think I'm just going to sim the second half for now. I'll jump in if they score. I'm, I'm just not bothered. Right, we scored with McMullen. Uh, simming it, so I'm just going to jump to the result. We're going to find out who our man of match is. I see McMullen. Is there anyone else? Does McMullen even have a man of match? Yes, he does. 8.9 class. Cheers. Right, next game. Right, let's see how long we're missing Phillips for. Seven months. Seven months. So he's going to miss the second half of the Champions League campaign. But he should be back in time for the Euros. Like, I need him for the Euros. And now we're a point behind Sligo Rovers. And we're missing our best DM. Okay. All right, Morrissey's going to have to play there. Shit. That is that shit. I'm not I'm not happy about that. Oh no. Okay, right, we're gonna have to get very, very creative this season with how we're gonna be able to manage this. Right, the first team I'm gonna do a fancy sim for this. Uh because we need to win this game. I think we've got four games left and if we lose this, we're gonna be four points behind. Which I just don't see us recovering from. Okay, we're 1-0 down. Let's go. I'm going to have to play this fucking domestic game. I hate playing domestic games. It's so boring. I've won all the trophies. Come on. My team should be good enough just to outright win. Oh, hit that Rubio. Yes. Brilliant goal. Fantastic assist from from McAllister. We're back in the... Well, not in the driving seat, but we're, we're back in some form of competitiveness for this league. I've completely destroyed that sentence. I apologize to everyone that had to hear that. All two of you. Oh, I've balls that pass up, but Morrissey has saved today. Uh, so far for his debut, uh, I've been satisfied with what I've seen from him. Although I want McAllister to make a run. That's not the pass I wanted you to make. It was to the exact player that I wanted. It was in roughly the same direction. It just a bit short. Oh, yeah, I'll finish that. No, he missed it. It's not even offside. Oh, no. Good pass from Morrissey. Hit that. Ah, oh, I saw him go on the ground. Why did I hit it? Terrible decision making. Coil. Ayala. Hit that. Yes. Oh, you'd love to see that. Right, back to Simona. We've put ourselves in the driving seat for the title. Half time. We're still 2 1 up. It's fine. We're just going to continue the fancy sim. And there we go. That's three from Ruby. I think it's safe to Simma. Yeah, it was. Man the match has to be Rubio. Diala, Rubio's had four man the matches robbed from him this season. I can't believe that. I really can't. Anyway, I'm glad we got the win. That's the main thing. We're now two points clear at the top of the table. Yeah, there you go. Four games left. Let's let's see what happens. Play the first team again. We should win. Shamrock Rovers seem to be quite tired. We do. Uh, Rubio gets a ten. Finally, he gets a ten. Well, that's his third 10 of the season. Well, you should have had a couple. I'd just say you should have had like seven, eight. Instead, he's got three. Yeah. Yikes. 
We are four points clear with a game in hand. No, oh, sorry, I'm a liar. We're three points clear with a game in hand. And we have the Champions League afterwards. So we're gonna play the second team. They should get something out of this game. I am saying should. They do. Holy shit. Nice. Good. Uh, I'm looking at Ayala for an eight or a seven point seven. And Ayala has a seven point seven. He's starting to come alive towards the end of the season. He might he might get player of the season if he wins the next four random matches, I think. And you can see the table, we're top of the table. Now by two points. And Mitchell and are back to being bottom. You love to see it. Alright, we're playing Fiorentina. If we win this game, I'm almost certain we're qualified for the next round. We've got a big game ahead of us. Hopefully all my big game players are are gonna be here. Sorry, that was me sipping up my work fleece. Getting a little chilly in my room, you know? It's a bit cold. Though I don't know when this video is coming out, probably February. Like four months ahead of uh, my recording schedule. Oh, Rubio, Ayala, take a touch. Hit that! Ah, oh, he got away from you. Oh, win the header. Come on, Rubio, get there. Nice. See you, McAllister. Hit that. Oh, yes. Rebound. That was jammy. I thought McAllister would have scored. I haven't scored with McAllister yet, I don't think. Or maybe I did. Maybe I scored in his debut, which was like four or five seasons ago at this stage. Oh, that's a nice ball from McAllister to Rubio. Jeez, that's a really good ball. Hit it. 2-0. No! Oh! No way. What a miss. Oh, you really should have scored that one there. Yikers. Ayala, make a run. Coil, continue that run. Ayala, make that run again. Oh, he kind of stopped, didn't he? If he had kept running, he would have been fine. All right, here they come again. Oh, good save. I don't know why I said come again. They haven't come at all. Now, here they come again. There we go. We got it right this time. Rubio, hit that. Oh, I want him to go with his, with his foot, but I'm not going to moan about it. Going with his head in that situation. McAllister, he's got it on the volley. Ah, oh, that was a terrible, terrible shot. I saw him chip it up for the volley. I was like, no way, he's gonna score an absolute belter, and then the shot was terrible. Hit that, two 0 header. McMullen, yes, yes. Love to see this. This is what you like to see. I've got about five minutes left of recording time. I don't think I'm gonna get the season done in in, the, in one recording session. Shit. Right, second half has just started. Well, now it's just started. I can get one more goal, I can go back to Zimina. Rubio, Ayala, who's this? Ryan, tap that in. Oh, yes. That was some finish. And my three goal rule stands yet again. Who's man the match for us? We've got 8.5, 8.6 from Ayala. 8.6 from Ayala. He's trying to get his captaincy. I swear to fuck, if he becomes captain for a third season in a row, I'm going to be so surprised. Considering the fact that he had none about. I don't know what. When was his first man of the match? Wasn't that like in June? Alright, we're playing the first team. If we get a point out of this game, we win the league. Which, considering the fact that. Oh, there we go. We win the league. 4 all. Jesus. Okay, who gets man of the match? <laughs> it's not Ayala. No way. It's fucking Ayala. I'm telling you, he's trying to get man of the match. What the fuck is this? Alright, here's a look at the table. Four points clear, but one game to go, which we're going to get out of the way right now. Why Sibina? Uh, no, we'll play the first team. Might as well. Uh, I do think we have got a Champions League game coming up, but I don't really care. Another three all draw. So we scored seven goals and conceded seven in the last two games. And I can't remember the game before that. I think that was the ten goals scored, eight goals conceded, I think. Who's our man of the match? Rubio, 8.6. Good. Good. I like my better players getting man of the match. I haven't gotten player of the season yet. Hey, Al, I'm looking at you when I direct the player of the season one at you. Oh, there's international friendlies instead? Oh, well, let's have a look at this. Oh, I, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care about any of this. This isn't important to me. Uh, how is our table looking? I'm going to check the league table as well. You know what? We might get the season done. Yeah, I'm going to try to get the season done here. We're basically true. Our points here will put everything on six points, put me on ten. Uh, head to head would have me true on Florentina. I think I'm qualified. I think I've qualified for the next stage. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not responding to that loan offer. Alright, we're going to get into the game anyway. We're going to play the team. 
and we're going to see what happens. If we win, we're guaranteed to go through. If we draw, I think we're also guaranteed to go through. But I'm not sure if this game has head-to-head. -head. I know it has head-to-head, -head, but I'm not sure if that comes into account when the table is finalized. But we'll find out pretty shortly. Alistair, pass it to Rubio. Hit that. Oh, oh that would have been such a nice goal. That would have been a really nice goal there. Great play from McAllister. I don't trust his shooting, so I haven't really been a big fan of that. Hit that. Whoever that is. That was smart. Um, not, not Marcus Alonso. Uh, Sergio Ramos is regen there. Taking that shot. He made some very good play there. Oh, the pass. That final pass was so bad. Oh. Ayala. Burn. Hit that. 1-0. That was a nice finish. That was really nice. Oh, we got lucky there. We did get lucky. That Rubio pass was so heartbreaking, but thankfully he won it back, and we came up with that crucial goal. As it stands, we're going through, and I can send the last game against Mitchell and... Right, Rubio, get on your bike. No, that touch was that touch was bad. Right, Rubio, I need you to run. I would like Coil to... Oh, hello. Go on. I said shoe. I said shoe. That's match fixing. That is fucking match fixing. I say shoe. It could have been McAllister's first fucking goal. I know the game's like, yeah, you know what? He's going to just run into the ball. He's not going to hit it or anything. He's just going to run into it. What a load of bollocks. What fucking bullshit match fixing shite that was. I'm determined to get McAllister that goal. And of course, another bad pass to him. Hit that. Cut. Penalty. Handball. Ref. Ref. For fuck's sake. How would the ball go up that high? Oh, hello. Nice. Nice. We should, we should be 3 0 up. We really should be. Uh, that McAllister one should have gone in. We should be simming this right now. And I, it's not like I've got a lot of time. I don't. Can't afford to have players missing on the line because the game refused to let them shoot, even though I told them to shoot. Half time, 2 0. I'm just going to. I'm just going to quick semi. I don't have the time to do this. And I'm very close to finishing the season. Uh, man the match. I see a 9.1 from Rubio. 9.1 for Rubio it is. I've got a lot of calculations to do here to see who's actually the player of the season. Alright, playing the first team against Mitchell and it doesn't matter. We're already qualified. I don't care. We should win anyway. And we do. Uh, 8.3. 8.6 from Odomosu. Oh, that might be crucial. 8.6. Yes, 8.6 for Odomosu. Right, I'm going to calculate all these results. And then... Actually, we'll go through the player first. We've got Real Sociedad in the Reign 16. So that's going to be one of the first games of Season 8. I'm going to have a look at the squad. And I'm just going to go through their stats. So you can all see what their stats are. Uh, yeah, let's see how... Yeah, Marcy and McGrath are relatively close to each other. Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to go over stats. I'm going to have to try do contracts as well. Mm, I'm not sure how that's going to go. I don't think that's going to go well. But look, we'll, we'll find out. There's no point panicking now about it. Okay, so all we have left to win is the Euros. And next season, because I can't just play the, the Irish games, I'm going to have to try and do an Invincible Challenge, which is... I've done it without trying in the Dundalk career mode. I kind of just fucked around with it. So, let's see what we do this this uh, this time around in the draw decree mode. Right, I'm going to calculate these results and I should get back to this. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the results for who is uh, your player of the season. So, we're going to go through the order. Uh, roles. In no particular order, we have... Is, um, wait, am I able to pick? No, this is how I pick. Is it? Yeah, okay, grand. David Odomosu. 62.5 Unai Rubio 81.2 Michael Ryan 60.3 And finally out of the four that we're fighting for Roberto Ayala with 51.2 So, based off that who was 30 points better Unai Rubio is going to be your captain for the final season of this career mode assuming that we win the Euros uh, Golden Invincible is not a requirement for this career mode challenge that so yeah there you go i should probably make it one one of those and i think he gets player of the year as well overall does he yes he does oh you love to see that you love to see that he's gonna be our captain next season i cannot get rid of him 
I cannot sell them. I cannot loan them out. Uh, anything else I need to do? Contracts. Yes. Let's do the contracts. All right, gamers. We're losing Kane, Brown, Doyle, Nose, and Heaney. We're losing five players for next season because they just refuse to sign contracts that are longer than a year. And in this game, that just resets their contract. It doesn't add on to it like the previous FIFAs. Where if you have a month left in your contract and you sign a one-year deal, it's, it becomes one year and one month. In this career mode, it just rewrites that. And instead of when you sign a one-year contract, instead of it going from one one month to one year, one month, it just goes to one month because it's still a one-year deal. They need to change that. They need to add it so it's an extension. But this uh, this game works in mysterious ways. Okay, Rubio, captain for next season. Uh, Jason Defoy, captain for the Irish team. Uh, and we have one trophy left to win. And we're going to have to wait till episode 2 or 3 to see what happens with that. In the meantime, I'm going to fuck around with, with the team. Uh, I'm going to set up for season 8. And then we'll see what happens. I'm almost certain I need to take down the... Yeah, that's okay. I can, I can take down the, the player listing at another time. I keep track of the players of the season. In season 7, it was Unai Rubio. So I will get his stats when I stop recording.